Big news! The DJI Mavic 4 Pro has officially popped up in the FCC database, and that means it's getting real. On top of that, Osita LV has leaked some exciting features about Mavic 4 that could redefine what we expect from drones. From camera upgrades to pro-level features, there's a lot to cover, so stick around. Let's start with the Mavic 4 Pro itself. DJI has a habit of launching products just weeks after they hit the FCC database. If they stick to this pattern, we could see the Mavic 4 Pro land before the end of 2024 or maybe early 2025. Some industry chatter suggests DJI might be speeding things up to dodge potential trade issues in the US. They could be aiming to launch before any new tariffs or regulations make things complicated or more expensive. The FCC filing mentions two models, labeled L3A and L3B. It's unclear how they'll differ, but we do get a peek at the battery specs. The Mavic 4 Pro is rocking a 95.3 watt-hour battery with a 6,654 milliamp hour capacity. That's a step up from the Mavic 3's 90.4 watt-hour and 5,870 milliamp hour. More capacity likely means longer flight times and better overall performance. The filing also confirms the usual hazardous moving parts warning, so yeah, this is definitely a drone. Now, let's talk about those leaks from Osita LV. Here's what could be coming with the Mavic 4, a live flight assist display paired with a map view, thanks to the VIO camera, RTK support for ultra-precise positioning, a Cine Premium version with 2TB of built-in SSD storage, a main camera with 14 stops of dynamic range, dual controllers similar to DJI's M30 series, enabling two operators to control the drone simultaneously, a triple-I visual positioning system, a gimbal with a tilt range from minus 90 degrees to plus 80 degree. RTK support is usually reserved for DJI's industrial drones like the Matrice series. Including it here makes the Mavic 4 a serious option for professionals working in mapping or surveying. That Cine Premium model with a 2TB SSD Perfect for anyone who needs to shoot tons of high-res footage without stopping to swap storage. Hopefully, DJI has also figured out a way to speed up data transfers. It was a big complaint with the Mavic 3 Cine's 1TB model. And that 14-stop dynamic range? It's a dream for content creators and filmmakers who want better image quality, even in tricky lighting conditions. So, what do you think? Are these features enough to make the Mavic 4 and 4 Pro worth the likely higher price? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're into the latest drone news, hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. Peace out.